Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from Bharat and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the DOS 9 project under the Ubuntu environment or any other Linux environment. So here I was talking to Talkbatcher about the project and he provided me some code as I'm new to the Ubuntu environment. So I'm directly copy and pasting the command that Talkbatcher has provided me so I'm going I'm changing the directory to downloads and now trying to execute the code it may take some time so here what I'm doing with this command is that I'm trying to clone a git repository from the link that Talkbatcher has provided and it may take some time and I'll cut the video to that point so after that we have to change the directory then we have to execute another command that we have to check out the multi-thread branch so i'll be back after this will complete so so i can see that the last execution gave me an error maybe because of my internet connection so i am i am executing the com command again and this time it should work yes it is working so you can see it started cloning the repository to my local server that's my computer so so in linux you have to do everything with terminal that's one of the best thing that i know about the linux community so as you can see that now it has downloaded the git repository so let's see if our folder is there yes it's there so let's execute the next commands so let's change the directory to the folder and see which files we have so we have these files so let's simply execute the next command that Darkbatcher has provided and let's convert them convert the code into binary form so we can execute it so let's build first the, the config file so we are making config in file so now let's make all the files into binary and it may take some time so I'm not going to cut here uh, I know you are enjoying how it is parsing the code so okay good so it's it's executed now so I think we may find a binary folder here yes so let's change the directory to binary folder and let's see which files are inside this and you can see a, a green colored separate file so it is an executable file so let's execute DOS 9 here and boom so here you can see that the DOS 9 project is working now under the Linux terminal of Ubuntu so let me open a separate terminal by control alt t and i'm going to show you that the cls command is not by default in linux because it uses clear to clear the screen but while executing the dos 9 you can do cls and if you will write echo off in terminal it will echo it will print off but like in cmd you can do it in dos 9 so you can turn the echo on or echo off so let's clear the screen and you can see the basic functionality of batch commands is possible now under the linux terminal and let's try some projects that we tried in our windows preview of this project so if you will remember that we have executed a guessing game there while executing the DOS 9 project under Windows. So let's copy this file and paste it under this working directory of DOS 9 and and let's try to execute this game in the Ubuntu terminal. Let's see what is the output now. So so now I'm renaming the file to some shorter name so I can easily execute it. So let's see which files are in our current directory and you can see in the post 
that we have guessing dot bad but oops we don't have the functionality of pressing tab or pressing the up arrow key to get the previous command so it may be some bugs uh, I talked about this in dark batch to the dark batcher and we are still talking about it so I have executed the game and you can see that I started playing it so you can see now the number is too big that 12 is too big for the this one so the number should be less than 12 and if I'll press enter without the number without putting any number you can see that it is showing them the final number and 9 which is the, f the number that randomly generated by project by the game so nothing and as this game is no, no do not have an auto ex exiting feature so it keeps on looping so we have to close the terminal let's execute the DOS 9 project again in the terminal and and now let's try what should we try let's try the color command the bug so as you can see in the previous version 218.1 that we tested on windows it has the bug of color command but this time the color command is working and you can see everything is green and the error is red color but all the rest colors are green but the problem with the color command here that now in this version when you will change the color it is giving you unwanted CLS the, it, it, it clears the screen without the user wanting it or not so here you can see the function that we tested on windows the full screen function but let's try to execute it the problem here is that I almost forgot that the exes are not executable in Ubuntu environment so I have to separately install wine for executing exes but still under still running them under a batch file through the DOS 9 project and it it doesn't make sense so it I think it won't it will work but it didn't work so let me show you how I messed thing up here so I'm try again trying to press the up arrow key but I cannot get it so it, as you can see here the thing I was talking about the unwanted CLS because I just changed the color I don't want to clear the screen but it cleared the screen without asking me if I want it or not so let me full screen it and you can see the buffer size because of the buffer size of the screen the half the screen is of different color and half of the different color and you can see I cannot execute the full screen dot bad directly here but I may try call but I didn't try it I think so so for your information I have recorded this video and then I am providing it a background voice so that's why you may find somewhere that my I am explaining things differently than the thing you can see on the screen so as you can see it is saying cmd.exe is not recognized and mode.exe is not recognized window.exe is not recognized so this this is because all these commands are external commands and under windows they are easily executable but in the ubuntu environment where exes are they don't know what ex, what an exe is so you need to have a separate executable binary format for these and I'll go quickly over the so I forgot this fact and I talked about this to, to Dark Batcher and we had a laugh about how stupid I am I'm trying to execute exe file under to Ubuntu so here I'm trying to execute some of my projects that me I'm trying to find some pure batch projects so we can execute them under Ubuntu environment but as you can see most of my project uses plugins so most of them are not currently not executable under Ubuntu 
and let me find some pure batch projects so here you can see a clear dot bat again using batbox.exe and this one is a simple copy pasting thing a script that copy paste copies and paste so it it won't have any use here so here i found a project from a good programmer a batch explorer that we have already tested under our windows review of the dos 9 so let's try to execute this project and in our windows review it gave an error that it found some bug at some line so i'm copying the name so i don't have to write it so let me paste it and execute it if it if i can so here you can see that it is giving the same error that at some line it is encountering block block error so aborting dos9 so we are now out of dos9 and we are in the simple terminal so i have again launched dos9 here mm. so i'm trying to do some tests here some crazy tests so you can see that this project is quite amazing and it allows you to run simple batch files maybe complex batch files also but with only pure batch so i'm waiting for the upgrade when we can launch plugins also so here i'm just trying to chat with dark patcher and with this i'm going to end this video and i hope you like this video and this project and if you like the concept of cross platforming like running the batch files you know under both windows and linux environment so this would be a great project and if you like you can you can help in making it better by joining the discord server of dos9 and you can provide the bug reports to Doug Batcher and and I think he will definitely work on it because the, all the bug reports that I have provided he has fixed all of them so here I am trying to find some clues because I am new to the Ubuntu environment so just asking for some help so with this I am going to end this video if you have any doubt or you have any suggestion for the project you are welcome in the comments field below and please like please subscribe please share this video with your friends and i'll see you in the next video bye bye